One of the most famous paintings is called The Creation of Adam. Most of the focus generally is on that extended hand of God reaching out to touch Adam's finger. What isn't as commonly noticed is hovering in the background an assemblage of personages. Now the question is, who are these people and what is the meaning of their presentation at that moment of creation? I had had some special experiences with my children before they were conceived or born, and I wondered, do other mothers and fathers have these experiences? I started receiving stories. She had this smile on her face, and she looked at me and she said, thank you for my body. Did I just see what I saw? Did I just experience? her spirit. I became aware of her presence. I noticed somebody at the door of the bedroom. That was my daughter. It was almost like she was saying, calm down, it's going to be OK. And he's smiling at me and telling me everything is OK. We felt like we knew each other before. Not a lot of people get that opportunity to see their boy before they actually come to Earth. Next to my dad was standing an angel. Over five years, I had these dreams. Standing above the gurney in the air was his deceased wife. One or two experiences is anecdote, but many is data. If even one of them is true, then the whole edifice of naturalism is false. It felt like tangible light. It felt as if light came and surrounded me. I was in the presence of my, my master. We don't just die, and we don't just go to God. We return to God. The heavens are speaking to us. Michelangelo is implicitly here representing the pre-existence. Did I just spring into existence at conception, or am I an eternal spirit? People want to know their origins. What we're dealing with is a true phenomenon.